You are going to use me, aren't you? You are going to send me to China. It's quite impossible. Why? Look, I'm terribly sorry about this. I blame myself for not having been more clear in my letter, but... But why can't you use me? To be a missionary in China today is frightfully difficult. I'm not speaking from hearsay. I spend three years there for every year I spend here at home. You don't know what you'd be facing. The... The, the filth, the squalor, the hardships in the remote areas. Well, that doesn't frighten me. I'm strong. I'm used to hard work. My dear girl, don't you understand? You are just not qualified. We send to China only those of our people who have very special education and experience. I know. I've had a very ordinary schooling. And, and since then I've been a servant. But I've read. I've studied by myself. I've worked at the Liverpool Mission on my day, so... I understood that from your letter. And we cannot guarantee your deliverance to China alive, not by the overland route. I, I, I'm on my way to Chelsea, a mile away. Who can guarantee that I'll get there alive? Will you book me a passage, please? Very well, then. For what date? Oh, I don't know yet. I haven't got 41 pounds. But I'll pay something on account and come back every week and add to it. I'm very reliable. I don't doubt it. But we don't sell tickets that way. Look, uh, couldn't you save it up and then bring it in? I might get discouraged. If I know I own a small part of a ticket, it'll be easier. There, I'll take the pennies and leave you the rest there. That is one pound and five shillings. Is that all you have? Isn't it enough for the first payment? Miss, you can't leave yourself with just four pennies to your name. Oh, that's all right. I'm on my way to a new job. Well, supposing you don't like the new job or, or it just doesn't work. I'll make it work. Позвольте. В чем дело? В чем дело? Но, но посмотрите. Вот, эта женщина. Э, говори, говорит англичанка. You cannot stay here. You, woman alone. Soldier, man, not moral. Your passport, please. Passport. Passport. Passport! А вы что здесь? Ну пошли вон отсюда! Да скорее! I'm on my way to China, but I was supposed to stop in Harvey. Yes, yes, yes. Next station, you go out. You are by profession machinery? Ma China, no machinery? Why go there? Here in USSR, machinery. Good. Tractors, combine, conveyors. You stay here. Machinery, China, too. Da, da. I, I'm not that kind of machinery. I'm a missionary. I'm going to China as a missionary, but with a Bible. Stora. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 
Are you Mrs. Lawson? Yes. You're Gladys Aylward. Good for you. I didn't think you'd make it. Get down, girl. You're home. <laughs> Dr. Robinson. Have you any news? No, Dr. Robinson. But today is November the 12th, and the trucks are at the depot. I'm sorry, you will have to leave. We're not leaving without those children from Sea Chow. That message you had from the North, and that Colonel Lin Nan said they were only six days away. That was nearly two weeks ago. The mountains they are going through are controlled by the enemy and almost impassable. I know, but... There's practically no chance for them to get through. I know that. The whole city knows that. That's why we've all been praying night and day for those children. I will continue to pray and to wait. I'm sorry, Doctor, but... The children! The children! They are here! Children from Chi Chow. children from the north we've been waiting for you it was a long journey i'm sorry we are late late oh dr robbins do you remember me my name used to be gladys aylward yes i remember you gladys aylward who wasn't qualified to come to China. <laughs> will you come with us to our children's village? I can think of no one who would be more valuable. Thank you, but I'm going back to Wencheng. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> 